Before wasting your time we are going to share top 6 best hand coffee grinders. Number 6 on the list is Hario Skirton Pro Ceramic Burr Hand Mill. Hario Skirton is one of the most iconic hand grinders. This is the new and improved pro version of the classic model. I in many ways, Hario is synonymous with the third wave movement. The Japanese brand just uses slow coffee. I wasn't a big fan of the old version of the Skirton. The new version, which was released in 2017, however, has upped its game significantly. The revamp Skirton with the pro moniker sports a completely new burr design. These burrs have less wobble than the old ones due to improved construction, and as a bonus, it's way easier to adjust the grind now. Being able to tweak the grind setting easily is really an essential factor when it comes to the user experience. The setting is based on clicks now. That makes it easy to reproduce a particular grind. The old Skirton used a stepless system, which made it a pain to go back and find a previous setting. Another nice feature of the upgraded Pro is the new handle. Before the handle was somewhat flimsy and a little on the short side. The new handle gives you a nice solid feeling when grinding and uses the force better. Simple laws of physics right there. The Skirton Pro has the general Hario aesthetics, which means understated, beautiful, and soft. It's hard not to be enamored with this grinder. Despite all the substantial upgrades, the price still places the Skirton firmly within the budget spectrum of things. The Hario Skirton Pro is affordable and very basic. Most beginners and casual coffee drinkers would probably be happy with this device. However, the true coffee geek would prefer a grinder with better consistency and grinding speed. A favorite amongst coffee newcomers and professionals alike. Its compact size makes it the perfect grinder both travel and home. This grinder can make a full range of grind sizes, whatever your preference. The Skirton Pro features a modern update on the classic design with sleek lines and with easier to adjust burr settings for improved grind consistency. Ceramic conical burrs ensure a precise, uniform grind. Our burrs transfer less heat and shave coffee beans versus cracking them like blade grinders. Ergonomically designed crank handle detaches for compact storage and easy travel. Designed by Hario in Japan to provide coffee lovers with easy access to freshly ground coffee. The Skirton Pro was designed to be portable and easy to use even while traveling or on the go. Number 5 on the list is 1ZPRESSOQ2 Travel Burr Grinder. This is the smallest model from 1ZPRESSO. It's an ideal companion for the frequent traveler since it fits inside an AeroPress. Even though the grinder is tiny, it still does a great all round job and could be used as an everyday workhorse. However, I'd recommend most people to get the JX model from One's Presso instead, since it's faster and more consistent. Like the other models from the brand, the Mini Q has an aluminum unibody with no room for misalignment, while the shaft and burrs are made of stainless steel. The grinding action is helped by two super smooth bearings. In practice, this makes grinding incredibly fast at least double the speed compared to the no bearing ceramic burr grinders in this article. In fact, it's even on par with the much more bulky Lido 3. Speedwise. The burr set is made from sharp stainless steel, and it goes through medium roasted beans like a knife through butter. This grinder is suitable for manual brewing, but the company doesn't recommend it for espresso. They have a few bigger models, such as the K Pro and the JX, that are more suitable for that. There are a bunch of nifty features on the Q2. For instance, the wooden handle knob is magnetic, so it can be taken off for more comfortable transportation. The adjustment is more simple than many of its competitors, due to using a numbered adjustment. The main argument for getting the grinder, though, is that the combination of build quality, size, consistency, usability, and price is just phenomenal. If you want to learn more about the Q2, then check out my in depth review here. If portability and quality are your top priorities, then go for the Q2. It's built to last, compact, and capable of grinding very well. The only slight drawback is that the capacity of the hopper is maximum at 24 grams of lightly roasted beans. If that's no concern, then I highly recommend this grinder. Theq grinder only takes up little space, under 500 grams weight, small than a can of soft drink. Making it comfortable to grip and easy to grind. Just at the right size for you to pack in your bag, even fits perfectly in the plunger of your AeroPress. Fixed with dual bearing and triaxial design, increased stability for better consistency of the grind. Over 60 clicks for the general setting. Grinding coffee no longer has to equate to hassle, having a fun time while traveling or camping simply unscrew for a general cleaning.
Easy apart off cleaning thoroughly without any tool. With assemble properly, you don't even need to recalibrate again. The burr was calibrated and fixed in place by the One's Presso team, ensure no wobbly parts or burrs that come loose as time goes on. Estimated grind approx 100 to 200 kg by general use. Includes a one year limited warranty, you will definitely get 100% customer support. With user's vision, we are working on the products. What are you actually need? Chose a One's Presso product to stay with you. Number 4 on the list is Time More C2. Time More C2 has created a bit of a disruption in the grinder market. It comes in at a price point where you previously only had manual ceramic burr grinders or horrible electric grinders. The C2 destroys both types of devices without breaking a sweat. The C2 looks quite good, and it also feels good in the hand. It has this unique textured surface that makes the grinder easier to hold. This is a nice touch if you're grinding light roasts and don't have grip strength like a rock climber. Also, the diameter of the C2 isn't as white as the Commandante C40 or One's Bresso JX. Again, this makes for a comfy ride. Many people would probably say that the C2 has a perfect size, it's small enough to be easy to hold, but still has a decent capacity for daily use. For example, you can fit around 25 grams of coffee there, enough for two large cups. The Time More C2 grinds exceptionally fast. It's one of the fastest hand grinders on the market. The cups from the grinder are sweet and have excellent clarity and texture. There's still some way up to the models from One's Presso and Commandante, but overall, the cups are still awesome. For example, the grinder produces a more consistent grind than the Barats of Encore, often recommended as the best option for beginners. The Time More C2 is the cheapest way to get good coffee at home. The device looks quite good, and it feels good in the hand. If you compare this with previous entry level models such as the Hario Slim, we're in a different league. If you can't afford the One's Presso JX or have small hands and want something lighter, go with the C2 instead. The smoother movement is realized as the handle keeps turning for a while, even if you release your hand due to the built-in bearing. In addition, a compact body of 52 mm that is easy to grasp even for small hands. And it is possible to grind lightly with very little force. The milling blade with 55 to 58 HRC hardness in 5 axis CNC machining realizes uniform grinding with almost no excessively coarse grains. At the same time, the generation of fine powder is minimized. Adjustable in about 36 steps. You can easily grind the desired roughness from fine to coarse with the adjustment nut. Number 3 on the list is 1ZPRESSOK Max. 1's Presso K Max is the new flagship model from 1's Presso. It shares many of the same attributes as the JX, it's just a tad better when it comes to grind distribution, and also more luxurious in design and features. While the JX will be more than enough for most people, the K Max is for the coffee geek who wants an end game model. K Max just offers a bit more balance and precision in terms of flavors. Especially, when it comes to lighter roasts. However, the JX still offers fantastic value for the money, and that's why it remains my top pick in this article. However, if money is no object, I think you should consider this grinder. Instead, the intuitive and easy to use adjustment dial on top of the unit separates the K Max from most other hand grinders. I and daily use, it's just a pleasure. It makes it incredibly easy to switch between different settings. For instance, I grind for espresso at setting 2.5 and pour over at 5.5 to 6.5. I can change the grind setting in seconds without having to count clicks or fiddle around underneath the burrs. If you're going to use the grinder for many different brewing methods, this is super convenient. At the same time, the steps are small enough that you can dial in all kinds of coffee comfortably. The K-Max also has a magnetic catch cup. Again, this is a pleasure to use. It might seem like a small thing, but it's so convenient. Also, you won't have to worry about threads on the cup getting worn down with wear and tear, which is something that could be an issue on the JX over several years. Taste-wise, the K-Max is also a bit more refined than the JX. Most people won't notice in daily use, but if you're the kind of person who buys light roast coffee and is experimenting with water quality, you should be able to appreciate the difference. The K-Max delivers a very balanced yet sweet cup of coffee. In addition, you can comfortably push the extractions with this grinder. It emphasizes balance and nuance when it comes to drip coffee and espresso. It's a lovely flavor profile.
It's rare to find grinders that are this good for both pour over and espresso. In fact, I think you'll have to consider the semi professional electric flat burr grinders before you find something that can rival K Max as a multi purpose grinder. Yes, the Commandante C40 also produces tasty coffee across all brewing methods, however, it's not a pleasant experience to use it for espresso. The K-Max on the other hand is a beast it's not much effort to grind a standard 18 gram dose in 35 seconds, provided you have decent grip strength. And it offers a way better adjustment mechanism and smaller steps, compared to the C40. The K-Max is quite a bit more expensive than the popular JX, but you get a ton of value for your money here. If you're looking for the best all-around manual grinder, look no further. You can brew all types of coffee with this model, and you'll enjoy every second of it. Number 2 on the list is Commandante C40 MK4 Nitro Blade. The Commandante looks pretty minimalist and more or less like the platonic ideal of a manual coffee grinder. There's a bunch of different colorways. You can also get it wrapped in a wood veneer, but I was never really into that look. Personally, the matte black model I'm using in my test is by far the most rad version. OneSpresso K Max is the new flagship model from OneSpresso. It shares many of the same attributes as the JX, it's just a tad better when it comes to grind distribution, and also more luxurious in design and features. While the JX will be more than enough for most people, the K Max is for the coffee geek who wants an end game model. K Max just offers a bit more balance and precision in terms of flavors. Especially, when it comes to lighter roasts. However, the JX still offers fantastic value for the money, and that's why it remains my top pick in this article. However, if money is no object, I think you should consider this grinder instead. I'm not sure about the logo. It has this slightly militaristic look, and the name was also used by Latin American revolutionaries such as Che Guevara and Hugo Chavez. It would be a bit weird with an ill deuce hand grinder, so I'm not why sure this is much different. One of the most unusual things about the Commandante is that it has a glass ground jar instead of plastic or metal. The good thing about glass is of course, that it's easy to wash, but it's also easy to break. However, it's very cheap to buy a new one if you need it. The brand has also started to sell colorful plastic catch jars, recently. The grinder's body is made out of steel, but the internal stabilizing structure is made of plastic. I do not doubt that it's a sturdy plastic that will last a long time, but somehow it just feels a little bit cheap. Well, you don't feel it directly, but the sound from the grinder when you are using it is just a bit jankier compared to grinders with a steel or aluminum unibody. Design.The capacity is rather good at 40 grams of coffee. The volume is actually the reason behind the name, C40. The handle is very nice, good ergonomics, nice to hold, and spins smoothly. The adjustment of the Commandante grinder is quite intuitive and straightforward. It follows the same principle as many other hand grinders where you have a knob underneath the burr. So the more you loosen up the knob, the coarser you grind. The way Commandante users communicate grind settings is by talking about clicks. So if you have, for example, 10 clicks from zero, you twist the knob until it can't be moved any further, and then go backward while counting 10 clicks. Number 1 on the list is 1ZPRESSOJX, 48mm steel burr grinder. Manual grinders have always been kind of slow compared to their electrical counterparts. But that's not the case with the JX series from OneSpresso. I'm not exaggerating when I say that these grinders are faster than some electrical grinders, cough, cough barats of Encore and Wilfa Uniform. With the very attractive price in mind, these grinders should appeal to many price and quality conscious coffee people. I got the JX and the JX Pro when they were released back in 2019 and was very impressed. The big question then is whether they still have what it takes now, a few years later read on, if you want to know all the details, including comparisons to the K-series, as well as the new J-Max. I encountered the company for the first time while visiting the Taipei Coffee Expo in 2017, and have since followed their work with curiosity. While their early models were absolutely capable, the company didn't really make it to Premier League of Grinders until more recently with the imposing models in the JX series. For a while I have been hoping to see a grown-up grinder with 48mm burrs from OneSpresso. So when the company reached out to me and asked if I wanted to test the JX and JX Pro, I had no hesitation the products in the JX series look great. These grinders are sleek and well-made, yet there's attention to detail. 
The big wooden handle knobs are very nice in the hand, and the black color looks sexy on the basic JX. The JX Pro has a gray silver finish that you see on many of the company's grinders. Both JX models have a broad rubber band covering much of the body, which gives an excellent grip. This is important as the diameter of the grinder is rather big. Oh, and the inside there are two bearings ensuring ultra smooth spinning action. As always with grinders from 1Z the bearings are some of the best in the industry. As far as portability is concerned, these grinders are not the travel size per se. The basic is weighing in at 650 grams 23 ounces. Size-wise it's comparable to Healer 101 and Commandante C40, so it's still possible to bring on a trip. The Pro is about 3.8 ounces 110 grams heavier than the already substantial little brother, so it is a big boy, comparable to some of the heavyweights in the manual grinder division. If you're looking for a dedicated travel grinder, you should probably consider the Mini Q from One's Presso instead.